All right, folks, welcome to this exciting video where you once again join me in the wild landscape of Scotland. And today we're standing in the shadow of Mount Blair, Glen Isla in Scotland here. And what an incredible scene it is up here. Today, my mission hopefully will be to eventually get to an abandoned house up on this hill. But initially, we're going to take this little path that takes us past Och and Taple Loch up here in the wild landscape of Glen Isla. So let's, let's get into this adventure, folks. It's crazy. It's a crazy scene out here on the hill. And so far, the sky's blue and the sun's shining. But over this side, it looks a bit more grey and stormy. And I'm just a bit worried, hoping that the rain doesn't come on like yesterday's adventure. When I was at that abandoned house in the last video, it was crazy. I got absolutely soaked on the way back to the car, but sometimes that's what these adventures are all about, folks. We're out in the wilds of Scotland getting the footage, and the adventure's always real. I have been like to this house one time ages ago, probably more than a year ago, so I thought it's cool to come back, see if anything's changed, and just take in a bit of the landscape. Och and Taple Loch, it's rarely seen way up here in the hills. I'm just hoping that they're no shooting on the estate today. Wow, the landscape's crazy, folks. Anyway, on with this adventure. Look at these hills way up here. Looking on up to like Ochavan and the Tolkien. Wild areas of Glen Isla. Beyond these hills is the magical lands of like Glen Shee. All the way on to Bray Mar. And apparently the sign at the end of this path says Glen Prozen. So probably if you just kept on going up this path, eventually you would get to Glen Prozen, which is crazy. All these wee local glens, there's like little connecting paths. And maybe at one time, this is what all main roads would have looked like. Over the wild land of Scotland. See, now I'm coming up this hill, we can also see Forter Castle, which at one time was a ancient Scottish castle like destroyed and pillaged by the Campbell clan back in the old days of the clan history of Scotland okay, and that castle has got its own little historical tale to tell to do with all that and like the Campbell clan I think the Campbell clan's still on the go in Scotland and they're up still in like Inverary castle and stuff but back in the day like Clans like that came right ac across the country, taking like lands and riches. And, yeah, it's crazy old times in history. And sometimes when you go on a walk like this, then you uncover wee nuggets of the local history like that, which is just almost forgotten. Nowadays, Fort Our Castle has actually been restored back to its former glory. And there's a family actually living in it, and it's great to see that old like Scottish historical buildings being restored back to their former glory. Look at this folks, how could you not enjoy exploring a landscape that looks like this? It's just such a majestic scene out here with the river Isla meandering its way down the middle of this wild landscape. It's just so cool to see it and just to think there's little like abandoned houses and buildings and Little historical wonders just hidden in the middle of all this. It's crazy. And I love like the colour of, of the landscape at this time of year. Okay, and it's a lot less green and it's a lot more brown and orange. The scene is just incredible folks. And this path just keeps going up and up and up. Until we get to Ock and Taple Lock folks, so I'll update you. So I've come to this fork in the path here, folks, and I think I'm going to go this way, even though I'm really not 100% sure. I reckon that the lock path must be this direction, because I'm sure the abandoned house that I eventually want to get to on this adventure, it's this direction. Wow, every time I look around at the landscape, it's just breathtaking, folks. The difference with the clouds as they roll in in front of the sun. It can often just change how the whole place looks. The sun's still like shining over there, but the temperature today, it's seven degrees Celsius once again. 
and this is a morning adventure out here, so the air's fresh. Look at this, folks, up ahead, Och and Table Loch. We've come the right path. I can hear some weird, like, bird making a crazy noise in there. So I'm sure there's a wee boat house we'll be walking past on this as well. I always think that Glen Isle is a well managed estate with its like shooting and its farming and even its forestry and stuff like that. But like every other Scottish estate recently they were all devastated from that strong wind. So I think it's still recovering here at Glen Isle, getting all the trees and stuff cleared up. But I can see there's still a lot of water from last week's like extreme weather that we had. Even on the way up, like the road was flooded in multiple areas. I think the River Isla had been pretty high last weekend. Look at this folks, there's a little boat house here by the water's edge. It looks like somebody there has got the wee stove going inside it. That's maybe their weekend getaway. Just imagine how relaxing it must be looking out over Och and Table Loch, folks. Anyway, the path I need to go takes me along beside this. It's a crazy scene, folks. We're out here in the wilds of Scotland. It's a beautiful scene. Looks pretty boggy up ahead, though, folks. I didn't bring the wellies for this adventure. It's typical that I come out in like Adidas trainers normally. Wow, what a scene this is! Probably because it's like more flooded than normal because of the like the rain last week. That's how bits like this is so extreme. There's like an ancient dry stone dike leading down to the water's edge there. I believe that Och and Table Loch here is actually a man-made loch. Probably for the management of the land here or the fishing of the estate. Because so I can see the actual, the dam wall which has been created along here. Look at that folks, what a beautiful scene looking back towards the wee boat house. The landscape's just so wild and desolate, like over those hills. It's crazy just to explore around paths which you hardly ever see, and, like you hardly ever go. And often on adventures like this, you just never know what's around the corner. I can see now we're just about in line with the old dam. I remember I've walked over here like one time before, but we came around from the other side and down. So it was just trying to like remember the right direction to go and we've managed so far to navigate around the glen here. It's cool to see these old dams and like to see the way they constructed stuff back in the day. Just so they could have a bit of fishing here with their little loch. It's impressive. The water's actually pretty clear today as well. I don't know, we'll go to the edge here, see if we can see how clear the water is. Yeah, check it out folks. You can see right down through. I always think exploring areas of landscape like this, it's like exploring Skyrim or something on the computer. Okay? It's a crazy wild landscape. Like It's crazy to me as well how all that bedrock is up here at Glen Isla. There's so much rock in the ground, but big chunks like that are actual bedrock. Which shows at one time it was probably like a volcanic area. It's probably part of the volcanic seam which goes right across Scotland. There's some total mad bits of landscape. So I'm thinking this piles of stones here were most likely dumped there in relation to the dam. I can actually hear water flowing down like a little stream. It's probably coming through these stones. It's crazy to see the way it's constructed. 
I like seeing the different construction of dams and stuff like that. Everywhere we go, there's different dams and they're all built differently. It looks like this one's been built from the stones which was available here on the hill. And obviously it's it stood the test of time. Probably if there is a bedrock seam under here, then that'll also give it natural strength. Because there could have possibly been a natural waterway here and then like they would have just put this here to raise the level of it a little bit. Yeah, this is crazy folks. I've just literally seen two people out here on a fishing boat on this majestic loch. And then look at the view down this way. That's crazy folks. The scenes around here are incredible. This looks like some sort of scene from Canada or something out here folks. It's almost got like an Alaskan look to it. I can hear the overflow from the dam here must be going down that side because I can see it gushing over the edge there. Sounds like it's got a strong flow. And I hope I've got a safe way of crossing that today. I should have maybe had the wellies on for this adventure, but often you just have to send it out into the wilderness and see where you end up. That's often the best adventure when it's just spontaneous, you end up in the middle of nowhere. You find the coolest things. Yeah, here's the overflow at this side. Look, there is a, a plank of wood here to help me cross. Looks like I'm going to have to use the plank of wood, folks. The ground here just looks soaking. Yeah, look, there's the overflow coming from the lock. It's a crazy wee waterfall. I'm going to try and safely jump over, but I'm literally going to use this stone as well as the wood. There we go, folks. We've made it. Bits like this can be underwashed if there's been high water flow. So I'm just being super safe out here. Look folks, that that boulder's freshly been knocked out of that hole, so that shows that somebody's been down here very recently. It might be a well-trodden path this. Or it could be a gamekeeper out in a boot. Whoever knocked that stone out though was probably likely have, like they nearly tripped over by the looks of things. areas like this folks it's almost easier to jog in at times you can cover more ground quicker oh look there's a wee road leading down there maybe for fishermen and stuff like that i'm sure there is a gate up here somewhere i can get to the, there's another track that i need to follow now for miles what an adventure folks it's crazy it seems So to put this into perspective folks as to where we are, that's Mount Blair where we started this video. We were basically at the foot of Mount Blair, the other side of this hill, and we've come all the way up there around the side of the loch, and then we've just come through this gate. And then now I'm went ahead up this hill and then round the corner and hopefully there's no cows on this section of the hill. Okay, because it is a madness. I think it's still used for farming and stuff once we get further in, so. That's what these adventures are about folks, sometimes you can walk miles to an abandoned place or like to see something and then it's not even available for an adventure once you get there. Once I walk down this hill again I might go back that way and then up the glen. It's crazy, it's like miles and miles of like desolate hills around here. It's, it's cool that at one time somebody's made these tracks up like over the land. Look at that folks, big herd of cows right there, right where I'm actually wanting to go, that road there which takes you right around by those trees. Now, if there's loads of cows there I'm no so keen to be going that route yet. That's the thing with these spontaneous adventures folks, we might hate to come back. Okay, we might need to continue this adventure a different direction. Down here I can actually see Loch Chandra between the hills there at the bottom of the hill. Yeah, the cows are walking off, but I really didn't trust 
the cows because it's proper boggy landscape down at the middle so I really need to go this way if it had been drier conditions or if I had the wellies on I could have gone round the bottom of this actual field here I'll go down here for a look folks so the mission's still on folks I'm going a different route through this wild landscape the cows are up there and it looks like I'm going to try and get around the side of their field somehow but I'm just thinking at the bottom of that hill there's going to be like a waterway and that's really my worst nightmare right there because you can obviously I need to get across that it could be deep flowing water most likely just because of the conditions that we've been experiencing this past few weeks absolutely soaking out here but my feet is still dry so credit to the adidas trainers once again it's like the ultimate adventure footwear i can see there's old like ruins of buildings up there on the hill which must have been an ancient little farm building and then i believe there's other ruins up here but the one thing that i wanted to go and have a look at was actually there's a proper house and stuff up here and the old foundations to a sawmill Anyway, the wind's blowing through at this point, folks, so I'll update you once I'm further on. This is crazy, folks. I don't know how I always get into the middle of situations like this. I'm literally, like, walking through a bog once again, trying to get to abandoned history. Maybe I just need to wait a few more months till the cows are inside for the winter. This is proper, like, if you put a foot wrong here, folks, it's like wet feet. I'm just hoping there's a way across. I'm wanting to look across like the brow of this hill here. I'm just reading the land, folks. I'm still heading towards the abandoned property, which is up here in the hill. I'm just not sure about the terrain here. Check it out, folks. We're making it. We've now made it down as far as the little barn. Look at this ancient dry stone dike. It's crazy because I often mention the different styles of dry stone diking over Scotland when I'm exploring it. You can see clearly from this they've used the stone that was like available to them on the hill. And it's quite big stones that they were using. Wow, this is a proper just like soaking area right here. I need to navigate safely over it. I've just come over the craziest bog right there folks to get to here. It looks, it looks like there could be deep holes here if there's been livestock grazing down here. Oh, this is crazy. I don't even know if I can make it across. We did it! We did it folks, celebrate like. Now we need to climb safely up this hill. The conditions are extreme right here folks to bring the footage. But once again we've managed it so far. Look at this folks, evidence on the hill here of what must be like an old farm building of some sort. Check it out. Tons of old stone walls here. I've never seen this before on the channel. Last time, I think ages ago, we walked around here, like maybe a year or more, two years ago, and we actually looked at some old abandoned buildings right there. I can see the cows are in that section of the hill right there. So I probably wouldn't be able to get to those particular abandoned buildings today, but. It's insane scenes up here, folks. I'm gassed after walking up that hill. Yes, folks, we've made it. We've made it over this wild hill, past all the crazy animals, and we just had to negotiate around the side of the cow field and stuff like that. It's so, like, exciting when you visit a place, like, 
the adventure to get there, you're never sure if it's even going to be possible, and then boom, we've managed to negotiate our way across the lands. And I'm gassed after jogging up this last section. There's an interesting little bit of history here at this farm. And it's actually where my grandfather's saw bench used to be when he was here in the forestry of Glen Isla. So that's a cool wee bit of my family history related to this area and even this abandoned area here we're away to explore. And that's been a crazy intro to this abandoned property. Like that's often the missions that you have to go on in Scotland to get places. It's like crazy scenes out here. Wow, the wind conditions are extreme up here on the hill, folks. This little shed, I believe, is for like the shepherd to come at lambing time. The shepherd would come in here for lambing the sheep. And it's been like that for years here on the hill, way back to the early like 1900s. Even in the 60s and stuff like that, there was a wee lambing hut here. And the crazy part of this history, those cement pieces there that you can see out the window, I'm in this shed to stay out of the wind, so it doesn't ruin the audio, folks. But those cement pieces there was actually where my grandfather's saw bench was mounted back in the day. And what a crazy adventure it's been to come and see this. And I was going to go and explore the abandoned house as well in this video in the farm, but I think because this is going to be such a long adventure, we'll keep that for the next episode. Because you can see it there, folks. We'll go and take a look at that in more detail. Check out this though, you just imagine the old saw mounted here back in the 50s and I'm sure my old man used to sit under this tree and watch the saw and no way, look at this, the tree's recently been broken, unreal, check out the tree now, sheared in two, whoa my foot's still going in the footprint of a coo. So I'm is where the cows have been standing, there's some deep holes. Yeah, look, the tree looks like it's been rotted down the middle for a period of time. And in a storm, look, it's just come flying down, it's just missed the shed. But yeah, apparently my old man used to sit under this tree here and watch the sawmill at work. crazy countryside conditions climbing through that bog and over that wild landscape. So just check out the saw bench would have been mounted here on top of these. You can still see the bolt holes. They've been actually knocked down. I think recently when I was here like a couple of years ago, kind of, I can't mind if those were actually standing up. Can kind of often history like this will just get wiped out and forgotten. Nobody will even remember that there was like a saw bench here. Look, well, you can see some of the pillars have been, the pillars have been made with like red stone brick. The other ones have been made with just a cement. Old construction. I'm not sure if someone else went down here maybe to do with the saw bench or the old sawmill here that stood on the hill. Apparently back then they had a little Jiminy Jeep that they used to go across the estate on. One of those old American military jeeps. Uh, oh no, it's called a, Will a Willis Jeep. That's the name for it, folks. The estate used to have one of those for the forestry back at that time. Anyway, that's been a crazy adventure, folks. We've made it so far up on the hill. I'll keep that house there for the next adventure so we can look at things in a better detail instead of adding on to this video and then like try to rush through. I'll end this one here. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you very soon with the next one, when we go and look at this ancient bit of history. Mm -hmm.